Okay, so I have polar lined and star lined the telescope. Now I'm going to uh, set it up to connect everything. Device manager. Com ports are 8 and 9. Good. As com. You can fly this out and pick whatever you want to hook up with ASCOM. Telescope, choose, I choose me, generic. It should show the same properties that my COM port. Okay. Take so connect. And we are connected. Now I'll tell it to run diagnostic. All right. <clears throat> now let's uh, open up Stellarium. I'm going to pick configure the telescope. I'm going to check the properties. Choose the ASCOM driver, me generic, say OK. Okay, 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 and we connect. I am on Vega. Let's minimize it. Bring a PhD. Auto star, me generic. Connect all. Starshoot is not showing the. Well, it's not getting power. Okay. Close. Uh, let's do a loop. I like to turn on my bullseye. And. I'm aligned. Minimize that. Now I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to use nebulosity to focus. I did my star alignment with an eyepiece, so I'm going to have to possibly focus my uh, 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 camera. Nina, that's my profile for where I am tonight. Turn the camera on. Gonna cool it. Focuser. I do have a focuser. We're gonna turn it on. Telescope, and it is me generic. I'm gonna turn it on. And we have PhD running, so we're gonna turn that on to Nina. Go to imaging. The image. I'm going to take one second exposures. I'm on a bright star, and uh, I'm going to let it loop so I can focus. All right. The other thing I noticed here is from the other night, I uh, I'm not in the center of where I want to be have my focuser uh, on my Mead micro focuser the halfway point is uh, 2200 so I'm going to tell it to move okay now I'm not quite in focus here but I'm close Turn the focuser just to see where I was going. That's worse.
I could use a batten off mask, but I'm trying to get my autofocus calibrated. That's better. All right, we're going to leave that there. Stop taking pictures. I'm going to go to autofocus. I'm going to say, let's see, let's go to the equipment. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Let me see what happens. Camera's still cooling. Okay, looks like I got a backlash of about 150. I need to work on some options here. Let's see, go to focus. This uh, backlash, let's increase that to 150. And Exposure time is three seconds. Leave that there. Let's change that to maybe 200. Go back to image to another autofocus. That did much better. All right, let's go back to options. Let's increase this to 200. And I still had a little bit of backlash. I'm really that at 200. Go back to image. Let's see what the picture looked like. So. All right, we're going to do autofocus. Start autofocus. See if we can get it better. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was a pretty good autofocus run. Now, I did watch Patriot Astro on how to do autofocus. He has a very good tutorial on Nina about autofocus as well as many other very good tutorials. Of course he's not the only one who puts out good tutorials. This, this helped me out a lot. So we're going to go back to image and I'm going to start taking photographs to see And we're pretty pinpoint stars. All right. Let's stop taking the pictures. Let's see if we can do a plate solving if it knows where it is. And it appears it knows where it is. So I'm going to go back to image. And we are going to put the bullseye up and... I'm going to see, we're not quite in the center. Get my hand controller and I'm going to slew it to the center. Just to see that. If my guide scope is at the same position. Oops. Let's start it. Too far. All right. 
It looks about as close as I'm going to get it. And that's pretty good there too. We're on two seconds. Let's see if I can do a uh, guiding, how the guiding comes out. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be okay. We're going to stop that. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to advanced uh, settings. Go to guiding. I'm going to do multiple stars. Say okay. And I'm going to tilt the guide. All right. I'll stop that. Still loop it. Back to Nina. And, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to engage my lock on my mirror, which is probably going to mess up the focus a little bit. Small touch on that. That don't look too bad. We'll see how it does. Alrighty, let's stop taking pictures. Let's see if we can go find something to shoot tonight. Let's see. Let's see if we can go to the M13. See how well it'll take pictures on that. Now that is... Uh, turned on my oculars and that's my picture frame based on my camera and my telescope information input into this oculars box using the tools there <clears throat> so that's how it's supposed to look like in the picture frame if I have my camera turned correctly <clears throat> all right now I could import these into Nina but I'm going to go to Nina and I'm going to go to Sky Atlas and I'm going to type M13. I'm going to tell it to search. And here's the M13. I'm going to say uh, add to sequence, simple sequencer. Target, we want to slew to it, we want to center, and we want to start guiding. Autofocus. I do want to start and temperature change and I don't know about the if I'm going to do uh, HFR yet or not so let's see we're going to take say 60 photographs and it's a pretty bright object we're going to do 10 seconds <clears throat> go back to imaging I'm going to go up here. I got you can turn sequencer on up here. If you put it if you put it in your tabs. All right, we're going to see if it'll plate solve and go to it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I have Bortle 7 skies. And my backyard neighbor has their back porch light on as well as a bright light coming from the glass block window and it looks like it's centered up it's going to start guiding PhD2 is settling going to run an autofocus. Now the hyperbolic R square value is 0 0.95. 0 1.00 is excellent so we got good focus.
Something needs to settle down though because it's still moving a little bit. There you go. All right. 